It's the 80s. It's it's April 1984. Ken, it's April 1980, April 5th, 1984. Do you even understand what's happening in the world Tell right me. now? Tell me. It's a world of imagination. It's a world of of love. That's... It's a world of books. It's it's the never-ending story. The yeah. never-ending story. That's what's going on in the world right now. In 1984, yeah. In now. Yeah. In 2020 is the never-ending story. Oh, this is you're you know, you're not you're not wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not it's wrong. Like, Oh, it anyway. is. It is. Yeah. It absolutely is. All right. Well, so. either way. Uh, yeah, 1984, man. Never ending stories. Good stuff. What, what did you like? The first one or the second one? I never saw the second one. I know. The, I know. I, wait. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. What? No, there were three of them, right? Uh, no. Two. There should have been like one a year. I think like, there's only two. Just I think going. Only two. It should be like the Fast and the Furious movies. No, man. Because, yes, because it says never ending story. Oh, I get you. I get what you're saying. All right, meanwhile, me... meanwhile, you have Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy, which is up to what, 16, something it's, like it's that? It's 15 now, yeah. Whatever. Anyway, let's get this started. <laughs> looks like, looks like, be like, looks like you forgot the, looks like, looks like I you can't. forgot the old, uh. Listen, man, I'm in the stupid. I'm in the stewed, and I, I got know. I got no eyes or ears on any of he the behind the scenes. He forgot how we do things. It's it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Um, how how you doing? You good? I'm fine. All right. I That's want to, here. Let me let me show off the 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 quarantine build. Oh, we've been seeing the quarantine build. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is dating us. But hey, listen, if you're well, whatever, listening man. to this, by the way, we stream this it live. Doesn't matter. I could show you this in 17 years and tell tell you this it's was a quarantine thing, build. Right. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Listen, we never say this that? at top. We we stream this live. Don't put it behind me. It's now now it looks silly. Actually, cause... get rid of you. We're gonna leave Voltron there. Oh yeah, we'll just leave Voltron. Yeah, I'll get. Yeah. Ri- hold on, watch. I'll get rid of me. Volt- I got Voltron. rid of me, and then it's just yeah. gonna be Voltron it's talking. Just Voltron. Now. I'm not seeing the little me in the corner there. I'm hiding my my other camera. All right. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we li- stop, man. That's yeah. fantastic. Uh, w- w- so we live stream this on 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 uh, YouTube, Twitch, Twitcher. Yeah, Twitcher, Mixer, whatever. Um. So and uh, if you're listening to this, that's what we do. Uh, so go look at our Instagram. Not doing even 80s, bro, because uh, you're going to see some images of the lions being built. Mm-hmm. Um, dude, that's all Lego? Yeah. It Pretty doesn't cool. look like Lego. I'm going to tell I you now. It doesn't look like they Lego. They do a good job with it, man. It doesn't look like Lego. It looks really good. Yeah. Um, all right, Kenny. It's yeah. um, it's time. Right. It's do you even 80s time yeah. yep. uh, back in well, the 80s, whatever we're saying. Back meanwhile, in, back in the 80s. Yeah. What are we doing? What am I doing? Right. So, we doing? So we're going to do more of a... a you know, play around with the the format a little bit, right? Normally, one person takes like you know a scenario, the other person fills in the details. Right. Is more this is going to be more of a dialogue or a um a conversation, right? That, you know, can I be honest with you? That's frigate. That's really funny because I had an idea of of that. Is that right? Yeah, oh, okay. like of just like yeah. let's just turn this into a that's, conversation. But yeah, all right, so, so what's it. up? What are we so talking here, about? Here's what's happening. Um, just because of this whole split kind of way we're doing things, right? True, true. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do something called Interview with an 80s Kid. All right? Oh, my Interview God. That's is so you. close to what I was thinking. <laughs> Interview you. All right? Oh, okay. So this is going to be a series, uh, you know, sporadic. You never know when it's going to show up. And okay, either one again. of us be the interviewee and the interviewer? Yes. So okay, I am. Cool. Well, it's a series as in this is just about gaming. Oh. All right. So there might be another one about music. It might be another one about television, okay. cartoons. But you know what I'm saying. All right. All right? What, what do we got? So gaming. All right. So, Chris, I'm going to ask you some questions. You're going to elaborate. Um, All right. We'll see. I have a whole bunch of questions here. Okay. Um, I'm down. I'm, you know, I'm... 11 of them. 12 of them. 12 questions on here. Oh, okay. Um, whether or not we use them as a guide, if, if things get answered as, as we go and I wanted to have an organic um, conversation about this stuff, right? Okay. So, so we'll see where this stuff goes, right? Yeah. Let's so, start with, because um, you're an '80s kid, Chris. I am an '80s right? kid. Yeah. And you and you like the games. You like yep. the retro games. You were you were big into PC gaming, right? Yep. A little bit, a little bit of a background. Correct. Uh, uh, yeah, I was. Um, yeah, I mean, I was PC gaming way back when monitors were still, uh, you know, four colors. You know mm. what I mean? So, and I remember getting. Uh, I had this game called Future Wars, I think it was called, yep. and I got it, and we only had a CGA monitor, which was only four colors, yeah. cyan, magenta, like yellow, whatever whatever it is, right? Yeah, Cy- it's, it's, what is it? Cyan, yellow, whatever. Anyway, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played the game 
beat the game in like that. Then we got a VGA uh. monitor, and I turned and I put the game back on, and it had like you know, sixteen colors, and I was like, <gasps> it was amazing. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. amazing, right? NES also, I believe, had sixteen colors on on screen at once, right? Yeah, yeah. So they did have a color palette and stuff like that. So, so uh, okay, with that, let's mm -hmm. build off of of that. Um, that wasn't your earliest gaming memory, Chris, but what was your earliest um, gaming memory that you can recall? Uh, first, like in arcade or uh, a friend's house. And okay, video, so you know, gaming like probably that. probably gaming mm -hmm. is Atari. Okay. 2600. So 2600. 2600. Right. Okay. Um, I assume we had a 7600 because I remember at one point being 7, like 7800 or 5800. 7800. Because yeah. it changed. I remember the box changed and I was like, oh, this is different. But you know what? I, it's like you're so young. Yeah. You don't, like, I don't, I just remember playing. I remember playing ET and Pitfall and mm -hmm. all just, you know, whatever. Um, but, but that wasn't mine though. Like, that was like my brothers and like my dad used that. My, my games were so earliest memories. I have to say, of Tiger Electronics, the little handhelds. Oh, really? Had football. Had that was baseball. A, that... That's gaming. That's mobile gaming. Think about it. But I don't know if those were Tiger. I, I think I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the uh... those weren't Tiger. Those weren't called Tiger. Uh uh. I think they were. Um, so it was a Mattel. Li they were like the little dots. Okay, but you know what? Yeah. Right. It was dots, and then later on, it had like little images. I want to say that those were tell. The dots were okay, maybe. Yeah, not, not I just, I just always, yeah. I just always. I was like, Tiger was, was later. Tiger was the one that had like actual little people on the screen, and like, yeah, like the little LCD. Uh, right. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah, like Double right. Dragon. But and the, the guy dots, and right? But the dots, I had a football and a baseball one, and I remember playing yeah. those okay. all the time. And yeah. then, obviously, then came Nintendo, mm -hmm. and I think we got our Nintendo in like eighty. Came out in eighty five. Yeah. I want to say maybe like eighty six. Okay. Maybe eighty seven. I'm not sure. Cool. Might have been a little. All right. Bit. Good. All right. So that that's that's it. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, so your first system that you owned was an Atari twenty six hundred. Uh, me or the yeah. family? The family. Well, just, yeah. yeah, like the family. Yeah, we can go into this. You know, okay, like the so family. Like yeah, everybody had like that. You know, especially when you're younger, you have the. Uh, community game system right right yeah, and then somebody yeah. splits off and gets the game you know one game yeah, system right, somebody right, might right. get another somebody might take a different path right um yeah so what you so say yeah you probably okay so the atari but then also the commodore and then we ended up we ended up because oh, it's commodore 64 we used okay. to and i used to program on that i've said it on the show before right. but i yes. used to program on that when i got a little yeah. older i okay. used to play that's where i first played wolfenstein yep um you know uh, Impossible Mission. Those are the two games I played oh, all yeah. the time. I played. All I always the time. wanted Impossible Mission Two on seventy eight hundred. Yeah. Uh, I remember seeing it in like the Wish Book, the Sears catalog, or oh, whatever. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it will yeah, always right, be in right. there. Oh man, I was like, I want that game so bad. I never got. It. I never. I never played it to this day. Uh, I never played the second oh. one. I only played the first one. Really? Okay. But yeah. So and then so the Commodore definitely had that, and <laughs> um, and I'm gonna also say I had. No, my uncle, my uncle, my uncle Bob, had. Also had a Commodore, and I played this game every time I used to. We used to, um, my brother and I uh, would every school break we would switch mm -hmm. who gets to stay over at my cousin's house. Yeah, and you know, we take the week and we and spend the week there. And sometimes it would be both of us. Anyway, they had a my uncle Bob had a, a computer, and he they had this game called Dream House, and you could go in and it was you know like VGA graphics like, mm -hmm. and you could change like the the uh you could put little furniture in there and it was all like 2d but you could put wallpaper change the music oh it was so it was so much fun i played that for hours on yeah. end it was so fun so those are some of my early 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 memories of that stuff Fair so right. yeah but as far as the things like i said atari mm -hmm. and what then was your system did you get a system for christmas nintendo birthday, something like the, that that, that the nes was yours. the N nes, NES was, was was yours well mine and my brothers so yeah okay. we, yeah but that was ours that when we got that, that was ours. Like no one oh. else used that, but you know, me and him. Okay. Not my Very parents. Good. Not my not my younger sister or anything. You know. Yeah. No problem. Uh, what what game do you uh, consider the one that got you hooked? That made you a gamer. That that kept you on the path that you're even on today, right? You actually went uh, to college for for game design. I have a degree in video game design. Yeah. You have a degree. <laughs> so kind of cool, right? 
Uh, so what got you on that path? What game do you credit with getting you on that path? Is there a specific game? Is there a time frame, um, a generation, or just you know just ideas like your, your imagination? Like what what got you on that path? Um, what do you credit doing that for you? I'm gonna say that. Ah oh, man, all right. I, I have an answer, but I'm trying to think if it goes back. My answer is this. The answer that wanted me to make games was a little later on the PlayStation, Metal Gear Solid. Okay. The first Metal Gear Solid. That that was the most cinematic to this day, it's probably one of the most cinematic games you're ever gonna yeah. you're ever gonna lay your eyes on and interact with. And that made me be like, I can't believe they made a game like this. This is like a movie. Because I was already like a movie junkie at that point. Right. I was just in college around when the time it came out. It was 97, 98, right? Mm-hmm. And um, so that's what that made me want to like get into like making games. But before that, hooked on games in general, I'm gonna have to say I think it would have been the computer. It would have been yep. the Commodore. Um, not so much the Atari. So I know you were huge on Atari. I know for you, yeah, Atari I was, I was, was yeah. your jam. Mm -hmm. Like that was your yeah. thing. For me, I would have to say probably the Commodore, especially when I started making. Oh, so I guess if I wanted to make, I guess it was the games on Commodore because I was programming games yeah. on Commodore. So I guess that's, it was really. Well, there that. you go. That's interesting. Okay. I guess it was really that. All right. So just the Commodore in general. I guess the Commodore was what really got me. Like, and then once the Nintendo came out, then Super Nintendo, then it's like, right. oh, I gotta get, you know, I, you gotta get everything, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You always have to do that stuff. So um, I know I know with Atari, and it's not so much relevant to you because you said that you were more into the computer games, especially specifically Commodore 64, which are a little bit more um, finite, the games, right? Like a lot of the Atari games were high score. A lot of arcade games in the time were high score. But right, then they yeah, were right. also so games like, I'm guessing, Impossible, Mi Impossible Mission, mm -hmm. um, just from what I know about the other one. Like there is an ending to the game. Yeah, there was. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. Okay. So, what was the first game that you beat? <laughs> if you oh, even man. recall, or one of the earliest games that you one can of the earliest games beating. that I recall beating. There was a game called BioForge, okay, which I actually still have on my computer using DOSBox. Right, so this is a this is uh, a Commodore. No, this is a, now this is like a, 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 a just a, a PC DOS? just a BC yeah DOS game. Okay, <laughs> okay it's a DOS game, but okay. I. I don't think I ever beat Impossible Mission. Mm -hmm. I I did. Maybe I beat. I think I beat Wolfenstein. Oh no. Maybe Wolfenstein 3D. Oh yeah. When nice. that came out, I beat yeah. that. And I actually used to. I used to edit the code on that too. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you ever played Wolfenstein That's 3D cool. back in the day on the computer. No, no, no. Um, I used to edit the code in that and do like really wacky things. Maybe it was that one. Hmm. Then I had Mech Warrior. Oh man, yeah. I want to say I beat Wolfenstein on the Commodore. Yeah. Um Yeah, wow. And then there was all the space. But that's see that was later though. That was later on. That was yeah, later yeah, on. Yeah. Those all came later. Yeah. yeah, if I have to say anything, it had to be something on the Commodore then. Okay. Could you beat Wolfenstein? I remember there being like an ending. I'd imagine there had to be an ending. I remember there being an ending. Like you just got through all the levels. It was yeah, like, it was you know, it was it was, like it was Atari that. basically. It was the same thing. It was like, you know. I remember getting through those levels. All right. Trying to just jog that memory. Trying to get Yeah, dude. It's just there. I have very specific. Get inside that stuff. Specific memories, you know? Yeah. All right. So specific memories. Um, a little bit more of a vague question. What was your favorite genre? Did you like the point and clicks? Did you like the, the action, side scrolling? So back in the day, it would have been. All right. So earlier. Okay. Earlier. It... Oh, man. Mm. This is rough. See, because. Oh man, I'm gonna have to say point and click then. Yeah. Point and click adventure at Luke, the time. Lucasfilm. What? Play the Lucasfilm. Uh yeah, well Maniac Mansion and yeah. um then there was Full Throttle and uh -huh. yeah, those games those games were big back then and I was really into those. But then I did like the action games. Like I said, I was a huge I was a huge fan of Mech Warrior that I even saw I even wrote fan fiction, wrote my own fan fiction for Mech Warrior. Okay. <laughs> Pity the fool you do. Yeah. You do. Yeah. So, hey, D Dub, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, yeah. What's going on, D Dubs? Um, yeah. Welcome back. Uh, just, uh, he's quizzing me about my uh, gaming history. Well, not quizzing, but we're oh, having yeah. a dialogue. Dialogue. One way, though. 
because I could ask you the same things. Maybe right. I'll be asking you the same things. Maybe you're going to have to give me your questions and I'll do the same thing for you next week <laughs> or something. Anyway, uh, yeah, Day of the Tentacle was great, but Maniac Mansion was, that was the original. That was on Nintendo. I played that one on Nintendo. Okay. Um, yeah, that, the point and clicks are crazy, but I did really like the adventure games too because, like I said, I had that game Future Wars, which was, nope, that was point and click. Um, Mech Warrior, but even, no, you know... No Simon the Sorcerer was your area. I remember Simon the Sorcerer. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, dude. It was just, right. you know, and then Wolfenstein. When, when Wolfenstein and Doom and Doom. Doom. Okay. Doom so Doom and Wolfenstein. Yeah. Like, Wolf, it was Wolfenstein 3D first. Then Doom came out. And then I was all over Doom. Like, that really mm -hmm. got me into first person. And then Duke Nukem. Love Duke Nukem. I used to program stuff for that, too. Really? So those, so it would it would have been the point and clicks, and then um, you know, yeah, Heretic and, and Hexen. D Dub says, um, uh, yeah, those are good, but I never, I was never that. I think I played, yeah, I was never really into them as much. It was like I no. said, it was a lot of the Space Quest, yeah. Police Quest, Phantasmagoria. That was cool, and that came out a little later. Well, there was that, like you know, the Her Heretic and, and Hexen, like that stuff kind of came out where it was like just Doom but magic. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that I was into the gun version of them. That's what I'm saying. Okay. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know, man. I just I wasn't into magic at the time. I wish mm -hmm. I would have been though. You know, because yeah. they're more fancy with Doom's full. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I really like the gore fest stuff. When I when I used to like when I used to I used to change the sprites in in Wolfenstein 3D and Duke Nukem and I'd make them even more gory. At the end of um, right. at mm -hmm. the end of Wolfenstein 3D, you fought Hitler in a mech suit and and when he was and when you beat him he kind of well, like did have an ending well well no wolfenstein 3d right yeah not i i meant the original wolfenstein oh i got you. yeah the one where you hit the wall and everything just shook and it was like achang, achang. um so i made it so it was even yeah. gorier like i made his blood green and stuff like i did i did some wacky stuff yeah cool. somehow we were allowed to play one in 3d at school what that's awesome <laughs> that's kind of neat that's good <laughs> Uh, I used to make my own levels. They're and about stuff SimCity. I remember one of the one of the guys got SimCity on the computers or something like that. Oh man, that was good. Oh, you know when those came out, I like playing those too. Those are good yeah, too. Oh, the Sims. Oh my god. Uh, we're not getting into, <laughs> well, Sims later. in general, not the Sims. I meant, I meant. Okay, the Sims. Yeah, no, we're not going that far. Um, so your favorite system, experience. Commodore sixty four, NES. No, favorite system would probably be. Super Nintendo. Okay, so looking back, Super NES. Okay. Super Nintendo until PlayStation, and then it was PlayStation. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. In lower Sounds school, good. the only game I can remember was Lemmings. Oh my God, I love Lemmings so <laughs> much. <laughs> I love Lemmings it's so, so much. It's so funny because those, those games like that, the Lost Vikings, um, those like kind of strategy yep. kind of games, Worms, right? Like those games are like mobile games today, right? Yeah. For the yeah, most part, that that's exactly what those games are perfect for mobile games now. Yeah, it's um, so crazy. And then I also had I also had an a Lord of the Rings adventure uh, point and click adventure game. It was an RPG, really? and I had that. And I remember it was so hard to figure out, <laughs> but it was so good. I loved it. Yeah, all those old games, you know. All right, uh, Lost Vikings. That was a good game. Lost Vikings yeah. was good. Yeah. yeah, I rented that, and I was like, this is a good game. Um, Blizzard, if I'm not mistaken, right? What was All that? Right. No. Blizzard made that, didn't, did they not? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. They did. All right, so, uh, all right. So, <clears throat> you back in the day, you're reading your gaming magazines, you're, you know, there's pretty much no internet, right? It's word of mouth from, from friends at school or friends down the block or, or, or video game magazines, okay, or computer right. magazines. Something's coming out. What game do you remember anticipating the most? Like, was there a sequel to a game, a new game that was coming out, an adaptation uh, from another platform? What what game uh, do you remember just being really excited for? At any time? At any time. Like, you, oh, my gosh, like Super Mario Brothers 2 is coming out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Like, what game um, was it for you? Mario Brothers 3. That was a big one. That Mario Brothers 3. Yeah. Was a big one. Yeah. Obviously, seeing it in The Wizard was like beyond um hold on shout I'm out to jenny lewis and the wizard jenny lewis and the wizard right um also red savage as well christian slater yep uh shout out to bow bridges bow bridges is good 
And that uh, Anthony, not Anthony Edwards, what is his name? Luke, Ed, Luke, Luke Edwards? Ed, Lucas Haas. That wasn't Lucas Haas, right? Luke, Luke, Luke Edwards. Edwards. Luke Edwards. Um, I, uh, oh, sounds like it's broken. Because well, oh, you keep no. tossing, you, you toss it around so oh, much. Oh, no. Oh, no, man. Okay, so if you're listening to this, you know how the VHS tapes have the little flap that, that keeps oh, the ribbon? Oh, Chris. That keeps the ribbon? Ken broke that. That covers the ribbon. That's all right. It'll go back on. It's fine. Unless it's snapped off. It's, oh, oh, it's, it's broken missing. on the side. It's missing the whole thing. Just pop it on there, man. Put it back in. Put it back in. Can't believe you broke that. Man. This is a... Mm. Not right. happy about this. So, Kenny yeah. had a little meltdown. It's okay. He's fine. Everything's fine. It, yeah. uh, it'll all be okay. Forgot it, about it already. Uh, you know, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. That's right, an original to... wizard cassette. Well, listen, it's been through its paces. It, 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 it'll be fine. If I, I can't, I can't. Yeah. Oh man. I can't even look my hand disappears. I can't even tap you on the I know, shoulder. I know. All right. So, um, All right. there you go. Okay. All right. What's next? Right, what do you so, got for me? Yeah. Re related to that. Is there a game that you remember saving up for? Was there something that you did yard oh. work chores? Yeah. Right. So, so I was getting there. Uh, well, no, the, I, I, that the wizard. Well, you said super Mario brothers three. Yeah, no, but there is one that is I two, two different questions. Okay. So if it's related, but okay, go ahead. So this question, the one that I saved up for and I and I couldn't wait for, and then I rode my bike all the way up to KB to get was nice. Mortal Kombat, the original Mortal Kombat. Really? Okay. Wait for which that. system? Super and, NES? Uh, NES. Super NES, yeah. Super, Super NES. Yeah. NES. Super NES. Yeah. I never was so a Genesis kid. Um yeah. But um, but I remember on Genesis they had the blood and Super NES did not. But I'm like but I didn't had the game genie, if you got the game genie, which I got. Oh, you I were able to put in that code, and oh, dude, I... every single time I played it, oh, I put dude. in that stupid that code. Stu it was like nine hundred digits long, dude. Yeah, I was using every time. Well, the ga it was game. I wouldn't play it otherwise. Wasn't it Game Shark? For mm -hmm. wasn't no. what was Game Shark? Was that for the PlayStation? Game Shark was yeah, I think for the uh, PlayStation. Came out, uh, game Genie time. was for the Nintendo and Super yeah. Nintendo. Yes. Yeah. Um, Lo I love that thing so much. Anyway, yeah, so Mortal Kombat. So I saved up money, my, and my two friends saved up money, and yeah. and each, like enough each. And that, dude, they were like 80 bucks back then. I know, those games they, were expensive, man. So was Street Fighter 2. I remember getting all the Street Fighter 2 games, and they were they were expensive. I got Street Fighter 2 Turbo right? for, as a... As a uh, I rented it for a while, and then I had gotten that for like a yeah. I was I was all over the Street Fighter games, man. But, but yeah, Mortal Kombat came out on Mortal Monday. Yep. Right. That's what they called it, Mortal Monday. If yep. I'm not mistaken. And I remember we got out of school, and I we took our bikes and yes, DW, I can repair it. I'm sure. Know? I just I need to put another piece on, <laughs> like that. Yeah, thing. you'll find it. it. Maybe you'll find it, and you can crazy glue it to it, and it'll be fine. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. It's restoration. Yeah, you'll do it. Uh, so yeah, Mortal Kombat would be the answer for that. Right, we saved up. We rode up. We rode our bikes up there, and then I came home, and oh yeah. my god, it was so great. All right, awesome. Um, best representative games of either one game for the whole retro decade, or the not the retro decade, but the generation from Atari to <laughs> Commodore to DOS, NES. Like, Sorry, DW says you can use your copy of Spice Word for, Spice World for the p spare parts. You're not I wrong. I can't use it. No, I can't because I have it on Blu-ray. Oh, I don't have yeah, that that's stuff. true. That's true. Yeah, he only has Spice World on Blu-ray. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Your 4K. question is... Blu-ray. Blu-ray, yeah. Probably doesn't exist. And no, it doesn't. So there is hope for the world yet. It's on lazy. You have um, on lazy. But anyway, so um, whether or not genres, if you want to break it down, you can break it down into like the best... I know you don't like shooters, but... Well, you don't just don't like vertical shooters? Is that what it is? Or, or side screen? Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of like the 1942 yeah. style shooter, the top down really? shooter. Gosh, it was, they were fun, man. Like, I love that stuff because of the arcade. It was like, that was like arcade stuff. Those this, aren't the games I played in the arcade, you know? man. They were so boring to me. Uh, I just, I, yeah. I played the fighting games. I played yeah. Contra. I, guess, I played the yeah. side scrollers, you know? Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. So, what are you asking um, me? So, what, what game do you feel like best represents um, when somebody says retro gaming? What, what game do you, do you say, you want to get into retro gaming? This one. Or platforming this one, you know, shooting this one. Like, is it is there anything that you you are you asking? All right, so so you want to know specific genre? I would like to know. Yes. Okay, so give me the genre. Just, just platforming all, Mario. Can, would you be able to say like of all retro gaming, which one best exemplifies? All right, best exemplifies. Let's say platforming. Game. I'll say Mario just, Three. Well, it, as a whole. 
retro gaming as a whole. Do you think you could you could come up with one game that could be like this is that, retro gaming? That's ridiculous. There's more than one. It's just it depends. I know. It's that's it why I'm be, saying like Mario. Super I don't Mario know Brothers, how you Contra. Okay. Um, Super Street Fight. You know, uh, Super Street Fighter Two Turbo. You know what mm. I mean? Like there, 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 there. There's a lot. There's, there's a lot. You know, out of this world. You know what I mean? Like, you know, DW yeah. says Golden Axe. Oh right. Oh, yeah. So you want to? Yeah, Golden Axe is a good one, man. You know, arcade. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking X Men or Marvel versus Capcom. You know, like. Yeah. So there uh, you go. You know. I'm trying to think what I played in the arcade a lot played a lot of like i played contra in the arcade i played uh, altered beast i played that a lot in the arcade remember like eswat did you ever play like eswat yeah play that um, um yeah, yeah. you know lot. it's you know you bring up an interesting thing because not only that it's like is it is it is it a console that makes you think of retro gaming or is it arcade? right that's the thing is I, some some people just have different they go to different places like retro gaming could be like no it's this this is retro gaming it's asteroids or it's pac-man or it's Super Mario Brothers, yeah. but that's the thing is that it was so, um, it was so varied, right? Yeah. Well, like that's my really point. Was, it's a, and, that's and was, why it's you know, and just just even living during that time, just to see how everything even progressed, yeah, was it'll never happen again, you know? Because yeah. even even now, I have an Xbox One, I had an Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, I really Xbox. feel like there's no difference between the two. You know what I mean? Like like, well, what's the difference? Well, what? Well, there is a huge difference. What? Besides how, graphics, how, how has the gameplay progressed between the two systems? Well, tell me. It well, dude, the more the more power, dude. You couldn't do. But, but that's what I'm saying is like it's 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 already you could port a game from Xbox One back to Xbox 360 and still play that same game. Well, you know, you, 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 the graphics are going to suffer. The fidelity is different, but it's okay. So the and and you talk about going into like let's say going forward, then the new systems that are coming out, it's. It's just going to be it's more bigger, immersive. Listen, it's bigger. Yes, that's what it is. And, it's yes, more processes. It's more right. things. Right. That. So, but that's what it is. But. But you can't take Super Mario Brothers and put it on a twenty six hundred. Right. You can't do that. You can't take Street Fighter right, Two and yeah, put right. it on an NES and get the same experience. You can't right. do that. Right. So. Okay. I oh, am, yeah, man. I you agree. Know what I'm I agree saying? with you. Like, I agree with you. Just that progression. You're very, you're again. very against current gaming. But no, no, that's no. I'm fine. not. I'm not. I'm not. But, but even when, when CDs first came out, Sega CD, uh, mm -hmm. Turbo Graphics CD, um, even 3DO, like all that stuff. When that stuff came out, that stuff you couldn't do on, on all the systems. No, you know true. what I mean? Like yeah. it was a, a clear progression between generations, between your Ataris and Clecos to yeah. your NESs and, and Master Systems to. Yeah. You know, Turbo Graphics and Super NES Genesis, and then PlayStation. Like there were clear, clear lines in the in the uh, in the generations. Yeah, DW so anyway. says. Uh, I think the last real jump they had was with the Wii Remote or the Xbox Connect. When they have VR on console, that will be the next jump. Well, yeah, I mean, I so I have PSVR, and it's fantastic. I love it. I love it. It's it's the cheapest option to do VR at the moment right it's not as high fidelity as any of the other like oculus or the the, the vive or whatever the heck yeah. but it's great yeah i you know i had a wii still have a wii you know i still have a connect you know and it's like those but are very cool things those are those are different things but you know but those things don't really stick you know what i mean that's that's the thing i feel like like the wii like you know not to knock it or anything like that which i'm probably about to <laughs> was basically a whole system of of like a power pad, you know. Like here's a power pad as a system, and it's like okay, I get to just play power pad games. You know, that's yeah. that's great. Thanks. Yeah. Well, you know listen. what I mean? Like like a lot of these gimmicks, like the Connect, was you know they tried twice, right? Yeah. And and it, and it kind of went away twice. Um. I, I I don't know. I just feel like it's not like that's that's like VR. When you when was the last time you played it? Oh, not too long ago. Uh, not so long ago. I did it last month. I've been okay. Busy. So I've last been month, how many games have you played on there since you played that VR game? Uh, not that many. Not that <laughs> many. Okay. I'm busy. I've been busy. It's not every time you play the PlayStation, you're playing VR. No, listen. It's a niche thing. It's a niche yes. thing. And you know, personally, I waited a long while to get VR. It it was a sale. Uh -huh. You know, and I was like, you know what? I really want this thing. I had tried. My nephew brought his over, and I was like, I really, I've been in, I've been in love with VR ever since the arcade, man. 
Remember that game? Remember that game? Yeah, yep, it cost dude. a lot of money, right? Yeah. Put the thing off, see it on the screens. That yep. Was I I love that. Remember? Yeah. So back. They in just the, had the tether I, that went on like your shirt. Yeah. So when well, you turned your head. Yeah. Remember at the mall, dude? They had yeah. the big yeah. one that you walk around in that big thing in the big octagon. Well, you well I don't around. think it was that big. I it feel was like big it, enough. Dude, we were little. We I was little. I was a little guy, you know. Like you know. <laughs> I'm like I don't know if it was that big. Um. Yeah, the uh, PC VR games are. Yeah, my brother's got an Oculus Rift. S, the one that doesn't need the sensors. It's got its own sensor. Oh, it's so nice. It's cool. beautiful. It's so good. And he's playing uh, Half Life Alex. But um, anyway, yeah. Oh. So all right. So cool. enough right. about so, that. Let's get yep. back to old school. Has a game back in the day. I'm not talking about anything after '95 here, right? This is this is how we do this. Okay. Um, has a game ever moved you um, to laughter, to tears? Um, you know, fear, like has, has a game, has, have, have you played a game that, that actually brought out like real emotions in you? Uh, I will give you two examples, one on NES and one on Super NES. Okay. Uh, on NES Godzilla. That okay. was, fear? The en- what? Fear or laughter? Uh, no emotion. It was like <laughs> sadness. Like just... It was like, it was like a oh, sadness really? and like a completion. Like it made me feel really, really good because Oh, because you beat it. Because I beat it, and it was a rough game. And at the end, it, this ending song, I told, I've told this story before, but like my sister used to cry, right? And it just, and yeah. and she just make us put it on. We'd have to beat the game so she could hear the song, uh-huh. so so we so she could sit there and cry at it. And she, uh-huh. you wouldn't, you were never able, ever able to move her away from the screen. She needed to sit there and cry at it. Okay. Which was interesting because it, my for my brother and I had had the same effect as well. Like we just had to sit there and listen to the song and watch it. The other game would be, um, oh, okay, you want fear? Friday the 13th, that piece of crap game. <laughs> Every time Jason popped out in the corner in the and house. And I never knew how to fight him, and cabins. I'd always die. Yeah, that oh, was fear. Just dodge. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and then on Super Nintendo was uh, Out of This World. All right. That game was so interesting and so yeah. unlike anything, not only – in the graphical sense, it was rotoscoped and everything mm-hmm. kind of polygonal, but rotoscoped and whatever. Yeah. And that was such a fantastic like voyage for me. Like I just loved that. It made me just the sense of wonder of just like, I felt like I was in a different world and like, yeah. you know, after beating that was like, Oh my God, like this was like, this is, it made me think, you know, it was just like, it was really cool. Yeah. Um, those are two games. Those are a bunch of ge- whatever I said. Those are all the games, all right, you know. Cool. Uh, right. DW says the closest uh, he came to playing VR growing up was one of those shuttles you sit in, and it's like a runway mine shaft. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. It's like okay. they have those now, like you know, mm-hmm. like Chuck E. Yeah. Cheese or wherever. Yeah. They have yeah. those all over. Yeah, those are fun too. Um. All right. Uh. So so what is your um like just your best gaming memory? Like what what is you know that you look back on and you're like, that's the one, that's it. Well, the, the Metal Gear Solid one is, is one mm-hmm. that will oh, forever stick in my mind. Well, yeah, but that was, that was, that was later. I know, but, um, <laughs> one memory that will, that does that for me, besides the ones I've already mentioned, like I said, out of this world is, well, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not talking about um, emotions and stuff like no, that. No, no. Just like, what's your best, like, Oh man, we were playing. You know, I was trying to get the high score on this game, and you know, like the vacuum kept coming on. Like, like, like what? Like, what? What moment do you remember? Okay, so a real crazy one. Again, I've said this previously, but I'm going to reiterate yeah. it here. A, a moment like that. Yeah. Well, one real quick would be when when I played Super Mario World. All right. When we first opened up the Super Nintendo, and we and we popped that in, like I don't know why, but that's always just like I just looked at my brother like this is great. Because, you know, you play all the other ones and you're always yeah. like, you know what I mean? And then you get to that. And it wasn't anything super different, but it was, though. It was bigger and so it was like, and the, polished. And the mute and the boo and just the everything, you know? I hate, like, dude, I hated how they changed the jump sound, man. It went from bam, <sighs> bam to whoop, whoop, or yeah, whatever. Ugh. I like that, though. and like, But I was talking really about, okay. like, the, the, the Yoshi, I that Yoshi sound, boop, boom, you know? Oh, like, that one. Okay, I got you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's that's always in. But one of the, one of the, the one thing I'll never forget is when my parents got us um, Jurassic Park for Super Nintendo for Christmas. Yeah, we found yeah. it, opened it up, beat it, and wrapped it back up. But just the just the <laughs> it's just the playing it in secrecy. Yeah. 
over yeah. multiple play sessions. Now, don't get me wrong. This wasn't like... Well, we, yeah, but you had to leave the system on. Well, no, no. What right? I'm saying is we played it multiple times until the last time where we kept... Oh, we just okay. Because you, okay. you had to get used to it. You, had to, you couldn't, yeah, just, you couldn't go through it right I never way, beat yeah. that game, dude. No, we beat it. Never. We took turns. Uh, and we did. We left it on overnight. It was a got nightmare. up in the morning. And we... Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was, yeah, yeah. Would probably something like that. DW says playing golden X at my cousins and he gave me the controller where the jump button was broken. So I could never get past a certain, po- <laughs> that's rough. It's off the cliff. Every that's time. it. Yeah. That's, that's it. There you, you go. Whack those little gnomes. Yeah. What about you? You got anything since you've been thinking about it? You must've thought of something. Who? You, Kenny. Me? Yeah. With what? You have a memory like that? I want to hear yours. We're all sharing here. Oh, no. I never, I didn't really think about it. I'm not, I'm not prepped. Uh, really? You didn't think you made the question? This is question. about you. This is about you. Well, I think I if we're all sharing it, you could at least give some something. Happen, I don't have anything. Something with the TurboGrafx-16. It's a safe place, Kenny. I love share. the TurboGrafx-16, man. Must have been the TurboGrafx. Oh. Uh, Had to be something with that. I right? loved it. There was a there was a thing like you know cheat codes in games, right? Yeah. There was this there was this stuff with games on the TurboGrafx-16. Now, when you put the card in, there was a little when you hit the, slid the power switch over. Yeah. It it pushed out a little nub so you can pull the card out right yeah however you could pull the card up a little bit and pull it and out pull it over it yeah yeah right and there was a way that i don't remember the the specifics of it but i remember having r type let's let's just use r type as an example yeah if you put in like keith courage mm-hmm. like again just an example i don't remember what what it was there were ways that you could cheat in other games by putting in a game, powering the system on, taking that game out, putting the game in that you wanted to play, mm-hmm. right? And then I don't know if you had to reset it or something because they had to start um, the select and run button instead of select and start. And if right. you hit both at the same time, it would reset to the title screen. I don't remember if you had to hit that or whatever, but you were able to skip levels in like R type by putting in like Keith Courage, powering the system on, taking it out, then putting in like R type. What? That's weird. And it was so cool. Who to even play figured that other... out, dude? That's I don't ridiculous. Know. That is. I, ridiculous. I remember it being in like uh, magazines or or something like that. Oh, Maybe man. Turbo, um, the magazine Turbo Edge. I don't remember. It was like a newsletter, Turbo, you know, yeah. um, graphics newsletter stuff like that. But it was kind of really cool. That's nuts. Um, DW that says... stuff was fun, man. And just just basically like. Ooh, let's try Splatterhouse and then Nartype. See, yeah, okay, it doesn't right, do anything. Yeah. Let's try Blazing Lasers and our type. And it's like, oh my gosh, Blazing Lasers put you on this level. And it was anything like, it double, was could you skip through double dungeons at all? <laughs> no. What? Did I skip through? Could you could you use that to skip through double dungeons or something? No. Wow. I told you about double dungeons where they, they put the code out there for the last but level. They missed the last one and, and you they tried. missed the digit. Yeah. It was like twenty six digits and there were only twenty five and I was like uh, uh, and I didn't know which digit was missing and yep. That's I horrible, never, man. never, I never played it. I never got to that because nope. it never happened. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, okay, so two, uh, two more. Okay, well, one okay. more, one. More. Uh, okay. The biggest regret, like, what, what about retro gaming? Do you go, oh, I should have bought that game, or I should have had that system instead, or, you know, like, because that's that's the thing is like this stuff could shape you as a person just by going through. You know the police quest games and the Wolfenstein games, or Wolf, right? Uh, like like all that stuff and Mario Brothers. But if you would have gotten like a Genesis instead, you would have been playing Sonic and Altered Beast, and that could have totally changed things for you. Now, what would you say now that you know? Because um, I'm sure you've you've discovered newer games, mm-hmm. um, you know, since then. Yeah. What do you wish you played maybe or had m- maybe when you were uh, actually in the '80s? All right. I am going to say I actually don't have any regrets. I don't – there isn't – there really isn't anything that I wish I played because I always had a friend that had it. Okay. And I specifically – You had a friend who had Turbo Graphics? Uh, yeah, but I never – but <laughs> I, I did. But I didn't – but that's what I'm saying. Like I don't – I wish I had. All right. I mean, I wish I had gotten a 3DO. I really yeah. wanted a 3DO. For for which game? I don't remember. I don't remember the games on that. You know, um, all I remember is that the one thing I really wanted was like a 3DO. I kept I kept trying to like do um, contests to win it. That it was like seven hundred dollars. Yeah. That? Well, they all were. But insane. But honestly, bro. Five. Honestly, I'm gonna tell you. I I'm very happy with with where my path led me. I'd never wanted a Genesis. I didn't care about. Mm-hmm. I didn't care about 
Sonic. It was not anything I cared about. I had a friend who had Sega CD, so I got to play those games. Yeah. Um, I just never got into Sonic, so that wasn't a thing for me. Okay. Um, you know, maybe I wanted to mess with, you know, uh, Mortal Kombat on Genesis, but again, I had a friend who had it, so I could go over yeah. there and play and see blood and... You know what I mean? So I, I honestly don't have any regrets. I, I loved my childhood. I loved where, you know, everything, how my gaming thing happened. I love that I was a PC gamer, that mm -hmm. I was all over that, that I, I played as much PC games, as many PC games, as as, as many console games. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad that I'm not like one or the other. Yeah, I just, you oh. know, I, do, I really don't. DW says, I didn't have enough money to buy games growing up, so... Any major title that I missed out on, I guess. Oh, yeah. So, wow. yeah. I, you know, know. A lot of them. A lot I'm, of good games. And that's part of the fun of, of retro gaming today. Yeah. Is that there are still hundreds, if not thousands oh, of I games. I would say that, thousands. That we have, there are that we have thousands. not played. Yeah. And there's going to be that game where it's going to, you know, you're just going to put it on and be like, how did I never play this thing before? Right. This is amazing. Right. right? You know, so, so, um, so yeah. I, I, I mean, can't, I can't, yeah. That's the beauty. I can't wait That's to discover some new retro games that already existed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of like Ghostbusters 2. I can still watch that anytime, and it's a new Ghostbusters movie for me. Why don't you I watch it? Saw it? We should do a com You want to do a commentary on that, man? Yeah, you keep talking about this stuff. Come All on. All right. Man. So, um, before leaving, um, name a uh, an underrated game that everybody needs to go play now. Not Super Mario Brothers. I don't know. I don't know if I don't. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold There's got to be like some game where you kind of feel like nobody played this thing. Like how I feel about the TurboGrafx-16. Like nobody played that thing, and it's and it's so there was so much good stuff on there that everybody owes it to themselves to, to oh, man. check I, those you know, games out. I don't know. I don't know if I if I have a game that I know that of retro mm -hmm. origin that nobody played like. Maybe like uh, you know, like uh, um, like any of the like the Space Quest or Police Quest series, like but those are popular, yeah. you know, like yeah, but they're but that's the maybe thing. Maybe BioForge, were... like BioForge is a is a is a is a again, it's a little older, but it's mm -hmm. you know, it's but it's like old console games, like do people play out of this world, like that's a fantastic game. It's also it's known, by the way, in other parts of the country, as another other parts of the world, world, another world. Yeah. So uh, I actually have it on my PlayStation Four right now. I have yeah. the anniversary edition. I, every time they come out, I get it. I just get it because I just Remember love the it. the sequel, Fade to Black? Did you ever play that? Okay, so maybe I'll give you Fade to Black because yeah. Fade to Black was a fan. I loved that game. Like, I, I, I beat that game a bunch of times. Um, I never beat it. I had it on PlayStation, but I never I it. I really liked Fade to Black. So maybe, you know, yeah, maybe Fade to Black. If I, yeah, yeah. CTW says Fade to Black. Maybe for Blackthorn is oh, yeah. similar See, Blackthorn. to Fade to Black. Same Blackthorn thing. was Similar? was kind of yeah it was kind of like um, flashback right yeah um, out of this world and uh, yeah flashback so so it's a Fla Persia. so flashback is the sequel to no no fade to black is a sequel to flashback yes yeah I'm an fade idiot. to fade to black I'm is an the, idiot yeah fade to black yeah. you mean flashback. Fade to Black yes. is the 3D sequel to... What was the sequel to Another World? Or Out of This World? There was a sequel. Um, yeah. It was like where you were that creature dude, I think. I feel like you were him. I, know, I don't think I played that one. See, I don't think I played that one. Okay. I don't think I played that one. But Flashback is the one. Yeah, that... Flashback. flashback. Yeah. Fade to Black was... That's I had right that on there. PC. I got that on PC. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm my mistake. Yeah. I was gonna I was like, wait, hold on a second. Yeah, no, no, no. It's the it's the motions and it's just the I mean just, I understand. It's the rotoscoping, rotoscoping the I love yeah. the rotoscoping. Um, you know, yeah, dude, it's just you know, like full throttle's so good. Um Grim Fandango, again, those are all point and click ones, you know, yeah. Day of the Tentacle. But again, those people played those. People played those. But, but but people did play those, but a lot of people from believe it or not, now haven't really gone back and played that stuff. It's not that it's I mean, I guess PC games. I don't have... know what Feeble Files is. Feeble Files? Mm. What is that? I don't know what that one know. is. I don't know what the heck that is. Go play Lemmings. Lemmings. Yeah, Lemmings. Underrated. That stuff was good, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Same, that's, you know? that's that. That's that, I guess. Yeah, those are yeah. things. All right. Oh, same people who made Simon the Sorcerer. Okay. 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 Go play, uh, go play, um, Commander Keen. <laughs> <laughs> 
Go that's the old stuff where you could probably get these games on Steam now or something. I'm imagining, right? You uh, can probably maybe. get a lot yeah, of these old they games. Yeah, do a lot of things. But it's use not. DOSBox it's or something. A lot. It's it's so much easier to, through um, like getting a game or uh, emulation to to play old OG, NES OG, games yeah. or Genesis games, you know, stuff like that. Um, but older PC games kind of had ability issues, right? Yeah. Not well, everybody's no, well, going to go get. Well, there's there's game. definitely ways to do it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's there's that's the thing. Well, I guess again, stuff. emulation and stuff like that, but yeah. you know. Uh, a lot of a lot of PC games I know also had uh, instruction manuals that had things strewn through them that you needed to I, reference. I, I'll leave you with this, okay? Yeah. Police Quest Three, yeah, had a manual that came with it, mm-hmm. and very early on, you couldn't get into your locker unless you looked in the back of the manual. It was a thick manual. It was an yeah. actual police manual that had all the codes, really, that you had to reference, and in the and you couldn't get into your locker unless you lo- looked to the back. And looked at your locker code that was handwritten in the back. See that then, stuff is cool though. Then when you were writing reports, you had to put the actual. So be, sorry. So I have it on Steam. I've got the collection, Police Quest collection on Steam. But yeah. I had to go find the manual online so they didn't even, as a they PDF. They didn't even update that portion of it. No, it wasn't inv- It wasn't included. So now uh-huh. I have to. I down. So now I have to flip through the PDF to look <laughs> at the codes when I'm when I'm booking. It's not somebody. the same, man. It's not the same. It's not the same. You know. Not the same. Yeah, GOG does provide the manuals and stuff. Yeah, it's GOG's really good. I enjoy GOG. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Good old games. Yeah. All right, man. Cool stuff. So there's That's some good. insight into uh, Chris and his gaming. Um, That's good. That's good. You know, I liked it. I liked it. History. Yeah. All right. Um. So now I'm gonna need you to send me a copy of your questions. <laughs> just a reference. Just a reference. We don't need to do that right now. We can do it down the line sometime. Yeah, I know. I know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, all right. Oh. So, yeah, good stuff. Uh, I want to thank uh, everybody listening, everyone watching. D-Dubs, thanks for hanging out with us. As always, it's not Thursday. It's Monday, just so you know what day it is. I know, <laughs> you know, uh, you know where we are. At the beginning of this episode, we did date ourselves a little bit. We are all still in quarantine, so if, obviously that's what this is. Yeah. Um, so I hope everyone is being safe. Um, you know, uh just uh you know you want to get to us you can get to us right there at do you even 80s bro as you can see there you go yep yep link right there uh we have a facebook group twitter instagram all that stuff come hang out with us over there uh i said earlier can you put up a bunch of the where is it the Vo- uh, voltron put it up again let's end with it put it in the middle there that's a lego voltron that uh yeah so so how do they f- they and so you transform them and they fit together yeah, like that? All, That's so cool. Pop it off. Let me see. That's so cool, like man. Like uh, one of the lions, you know? Yeah, wow. That's so Malay great. And, you know? Oh, look at stuff. that. Look at the sword. It's got the little... Yeah, okay. So. Yeah. So he's got the sword in there. Yeah. Then they just uh, click on. That's really, really cool, man. Yeah. That's cool. So, kind of neat. Yeah. Lego, good stuff. That's his quarantine build. That was it. Yeah. It, it, dude, it took... Oh, Space Quest Manual. Thanks, D-Dubs. I think it was about three three weeks to do this. Yeah, you've been yeah you've been taking your time, right? Yeah. Uh, if you don't, if you're if you're only listening to this, and go Maybe check two. out the video or go on the Instagram, and you can see the you can see the completed version of them. It's really yeah. really cool. Um, all right, so that's it. Kenny, uh, say an '80s thing for us to get out uh, of here. '80s man, bring it back. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> you won't. You won't. So, sounds good to me. Yep. Uh, D Dub says as a Wait, transformer in my cupboard. Dude, yeah. dude, where's my eighties? Dude, where's my eighties? Yeah, it's right here, bro. It's right in front of you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. We love you. Be safe. Uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next transformer time. Transformer in your cupboard. Yeah. Nice. All right. See you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.